All right, it's time to hear about your thoughts on the superhero movies that are coming out. We're gonna have your expert opinion. You want my on... expert opinion? Okay, let's hear it. Let's get into it. Number one, Black Panther. Black Panther? Really? You're gonna start with Black Panther. It's coming out Friday. I got my tickets. I got my tickets already. I'm gonna watch it. I'm in the middle of the motherfucking theater. It's gonna be amazing. I have nothing bad to say about Black Panther. That's probably the one I'm most excited about. That's the tea. Have you seen the cast? Angela Bassett is Black Panther's mom. Angela Bassett. Lupita Nyong'o. Chadwick Boseman looking like a snack. And fine as fuck. My loins are literally gonna explode. I'm so in love with uh, Ryan Coogler who is directing it. He uh, directed Creed. Like Creed is such a good film. At first I was like, I don't wanna watch Creed because I hate Rocky. I hate like all the Rocky films. <laughs> I know that they're good films, but just, I don't like them. I don't like to watch them, but I like to watch Creed. The way that he was able to direct the fight sequences, the story itself was well crafted. I mean, I have no doubt this is gonna be dope. You know, I think that it's about time. How do you feel about Avengers Infinity War? I'm already crying. I'm already crying. Like any Marvel movie really, uh, there's no point in talking about it. I'm gonna watch it. I'm literally crying thinking about it. It's gonna be so good. Oh my god. Top Loki. three people gonna die. Go. Ugh, Loki, Captain America, and Drax. Drax? Drax. Drax is gonna die. Well, I don't think in this next one. I think he'll die in the last one. Because I think he'll finally like have his revenge on Thanos and he'll be able to die knowing that like he got that revenge and he gets to be with his family now. I would totally be okay with him dying. I don't want him to die, but I just feel like he is. You know Cap's gonna die. If not this one, the next one, so I don't care. Honestly, they all should die. They all, I just wanna see a total uh, Breaking Dawn moment where everyone motherfucking dies and then we get trolled. Like, nope. Like some time travel shit happens or it was a vision or something. And I just wanna see everyone die. I'd be okay with Natasha going out like a G, just like sacrificing herself for like the Avengers or something like that. Like taking out like a big gun on Thanos' forces. I feel like we don't need a Black Widow movie. I think that, I think that's already passed. All I know is my baby Peter better not die. I will literally choke someone. He's not gonna die. He has a movie going up. You don't know, he could die and then he could be reborn or like brought back to life and still remember dying and all that. Having the trauma of dying at fucking 15. Loki, he better fucking die. I don't wanna see his ass no more. What do you think about Deadpool too? It's gonna be dope. It's gonna be fucking dope. It has the same director as uh, John Wick. I think he, he understands action sequences and how to make them feel authentic. I think the action sequences will be choreographed perfectly. I'm really excited for that. I already kind of gave my reaction for it. I'm gonna see it. I'm May 18th, I'll be there. What are your thoughts on Ant-Man and the Wasp? After seeing that trailer, I think that it's gonna do really well. Michelle Pfeiffer, Michelle Pfeiffer is gonna be Janet Van Dyne. The founding member, female member of the Avengers in the comics. I am so fucking psyched, y'all have no idea. I've been wanting to see the Wasp. Before the Avengers happened, I was like, they, be they better put the Wasp in there. If they don't put it, I'm gonna be disappointed. They didn't put her in the, in the movie. She was actually originally supposed to be in it, but then they were like, no, let's put Black Widow. Uh, it's like, we can't have two female characters, God forbid. I'm really excited to see this interpretation of Wasp. I really like the character that they, of Hope, that they made in Ant-Man 1. I like Hank Pym, I think. It makes sense to have him kind of be this older scientist opposed to being a founding member of the Avengers. He already like got married to Janet. They had a daughter together. It makes this character a little bit more interesting. It makes it his character feel filled, filled out a little bit more. The trauma of losing his wife made him like neglect his daughter because he was always trying to find a way to get back his wife. And that led her to become like super like self-efficient. She doesn't need anyone. And I like that in Ant-Man, and we'll probably see it in Ant-Man and Wasp, like she has grown as a character into trusting her father again and trusting people around her. I'm really excited to see her. Uh, Angeline Lilly is beautiful. Have you seen pictures of her behind the scenes? She's like fit, she's got like abs and shit. She's really gonna kill it. I like her as the Wasp, so I'll be there. I'll fucking be there. And Paul Rudd, who doesn't like Paul Rudd? But you don't know if you like him because he's attractive or if he's funny. But he's just both. 
Next one up, Venom. Pass. The only reason I would watch Venom is for Riz Ahmed. But judging from the lack of Riz Ahmed in that trailer, I don't want to see it. They didn't even release the fucking costume. They didn't, we didn't even get to see Venom. We saw Tom Hardy shaking his head, having a damn seizure. A studio makes a movie to make money, but how are they gonna make money when no one wants this? Sony trash. Sony trash. What do you think about Aquaman? Aquaman I have hope for. I don't think he's gonna save the DCU. I mean, if Wonder Woman couldn't save the DCU, then he ain't gonna be able to save. I like that they chose a horror director, James Wan, who directed The Conjuring. He directed Saw 1, he directed uh, Insidious. And I really like the concept that it's like bringing this horror aspect to it in a superhero movie with Aquaman of all characters. I like Amber Heard as Mira. She looks amazing in those set photos um, in her green outfit. You know, Jason Momoa's Aquaman, I think that he does a good job. He makes the character likable and that's all that matters. What do you think about the new X-Men movie, Dark Phoenix? I feel like I've been in, like, in an abusive relationship with Fox for 18 years. I love the X-Men so much. To see them be treated the way that they've been treated, it's just sad. Fucking Sophie Turner is not Jean Grey. I, I don't even know what to say about it. Like, Phoenix Force is not a manifestation of Jean Grey's powers. The Phoenix Force is a cosmic entity. It used Jean Grey as a host. The whole saga, the Phoenix Force saga and the Dark Phoenix Force saga is one of the greatest X-Men comic book storylines ever. Chris Claremont, when he introduced the giant size X-Men, he did wonders with their characters because there's so many X-Men characters. What's gonna make you like them? What's gonna make you keep coming back? The relationships with each other. But these X-Men movies have never been about the relationships. They've never been about the characters. It's always been about Wolverine, Hugh Jackman, over it. Been over it. What do you think about Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse? That's like the only Sony movie I'll probably check out. That Miles Morales deserves his own movie. And I think it was kind of smart on Sony's part to like make it animated. With animation, you can do anything really. You don't have as many limitations as making a live action Spider-Man movie. So I like the idea that it's an animated movie. It looks really, really interesting. I like the visual style of it. I, I think that's the only Sony movie I'm really excited for. And finally, The Incredibles 2. Boy, I've been waiting 15 years for the freaking Incredibles sequel. Like, why is this just coming out now? Like, I'm almost 30, y'all. Just kidding, I'm not, but I mean, it might be, who knows. Why am I just now getting this? I can't wait, I can't wait. The first one is so good because I love the first one so much. I'm nervous about the second one. I don't know how good the second one is gonna be. But I have faith, I don't have faith in Pixar. Like recently when you look at the Pixar movies, all these sequels like Finding Dory, Trash, uh, The Good Dinosaur, Trash, uh, Monsters University, Trash, all of these sequels are terrible. So, and these, these new Pixar movies have not been good other than Coco. I really am praying that um, this comes out good. So we'll see. That's all our movies for all the superhero movies for 2018. Mm -hmm. Cool. I'll be there. Any final thoughts? Stop making trash movies. Ugh, step up your game. I'm tired of this. That's all I have to say.